Chris, first of all, fitness-wise, how the squad after last night? Uh, well, no fresh injuries, which is a, a plus um, uh, from last night. So, uh, yeah, no, we could, we'll, we'll go into the West Brom game with the same players available. You always talk about trying to take the positives from the games. We spoke to Bradley Johnson after the match last night. He said that was his best personal performance of the season. You must have been happy with his individual showing. Yes, uh, and uh, it's. Uh, I think with with Brad, if I look at uh, the the games that he's that he's played this season, and certainly Brad wouldn't have played the amount that he had been used to last season. So, but uh, no, I thought in a in a in what was a disappointing uh, night where you tried to pull some positives from it, then certainly Bradley was one of them. And you opted to play him in that slightly further advanced position with Leroy deeper. Um, because he's got uh, his high energy, and uh, that's one aspect of Brad's game that he that he's always had is that. Um, he's, a, he's a physical player, he's, um, but he's also a player of, of high energy, and uh, and that was the that was the the objective with himself and Johnny to to be able to press you know higher up the pitch and and uh, not let, allow them to get the the, the, the passing game that uh, the, that everybody knows them for. Looking at Saturday, does Gary Hooper come back into your plans for a starting place? Um, yes, he does, and um, we we. Of course, having three games in in the week, as these are of course decisions that that I, that I have to make. Um, but you know, he comes very much into my plans. How determined do you sense the players are just to get something away from home? Because obviously, it's mm. a run that people are talking about now. Um, very determined, and and they're they're good professionals here. And um, on, on a performance like um, last night, where uh, we know that that we made mistakes that that. that that a, a Liverpool side are going to uh, uh, capitalise on, is it? And we know that we've got to do better. Um, I, I'm after a response from them, and um, we have had that before. Um, they will be hurting as well, the, the players. Uh, they will know that we've made individual mistakes that have cost, of course, cost us, um, cost us goals against a quality team that you can't afford to do that with. And, uh, and if we want to be in the game, particularly after a good start that we had, and um, we were hoping really to capitalise on that good start, but um, but of course made life very very difficult for ourselves. And what you look for then is you look for a, a reaction from the, uh, the players as a team and in, as an individuals. Looking at the West Brom game, for the for the players who were involved in the four 0 win over them at the back end of last season, can they take anything from that that memorable day? You look for it, uh, for any positive that you can, particularly as a, a moment like this, say on the back of a, 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 a poor de defeat last night. You look for any positives that you can, but but I think the biggest positives must be that um, we don't have to wait long to try and um, claw back something from from last night. And what you are trying to claw back is is a good enough performance, um, and that of course starts on Saturday. And just a quick word on that game last year, under, under the biggest pressure, the lads arguably produced one of the, the best performances of the season against West Brom. Yes, yes they did and, and in, of course in a season where the last two games saw us finish in, in 11th place, um, that was arguably the biggest pressure game of the season where I think at that stage there were still six or seven clubs that, that mathematically could have still gone down. And, uh, and arguably two of our better performances the, the last two games. So if there is anything we can draw from that, then we, we certainly will do. Um, but I'm looking more uh, from a reaction, you know, and uh, the, the last game is also one that, that hurts the most. Um, and uh, we certainly want to, to get rid of that feeling. I think Jonas Olsen will be missing for West Brom. I think he's played every game this season, but he's suspended. I mean, that's a bonus as well. Uh, uh, you, you, look, you look for any pluses that um, that you can, but you know they, they'll have a, a, a big enough and a good enough squad that, that that can cope with that. We've, you know, sometimes it's it's about also adjusting to to the injuries that we've had, and uh, and of course we we've got some very much first team players that that are out injured at the moment, which can hurt you, but it's part and parcel of the game, and uh, the same way we have to work around the injuries is that is exactly the same way as that they'll work around a suspension. And finally, Chris, do you know Steve Clark well and what do you think of the job he's done? At uh, no, he's done a, done a wonderful job there. This is, of course, only his um, second, second season in, in management and his second season at, uh, at uh, West Brom. Um, I've known him for, for quite some years. Um, maybe not as well as, as perhaps I know um, some other managers and coaches, but uh, um, certainly he's doing a, a good job there.